Hello Beauty News family! Welcome to Beauty News. This is the 26th of June edition. We're going to be talking about new release beauty products and updates of things that we've talked about in the past. We do have an update. We do. We I can't have believe an it. And it's one that is interesting and I'm bummed that we can't get it. Can't get it. Can't <sighs> get it. For the first time Max done something it. interesting in a while and... Yes. Um, They've cock blocked us. Yes, they you have. You bastards. So this is from the Mac Underground. Uh, I don't want to call it a collection. It's just like a thing. Sort of like doing. when Kat Von D did that weird thing where they're going to bring out just random things. Yeah, random things. Although Kat Von D wasn't doing like a limited run on them. It was just That's like, true. here's a random thing. Yeah. Buy it. Yeah. Whereas yeah, this is where Mac is releasing random things, but they're only releasing a thousand of them. Mm -hmm. um, so this one that we see here is a multi-dimensional, multi-chrome, extra dimension skin finish. That's a lot of multis and extras. That's a lot of words. Features a kaleidoscopic color wave mm. with saturated prismatic pigments baked all the way through the powder. It's not Ooh, an overspray. No makeshift oversprays here. Uh, they heard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you listened, Mac, uh, because that powder was that trash burger. That shit don't fly. Yeah, so I'm glad that they've... Because also, that's what people were concerned about with this. They must have People must have commented on their post. Oh, absolutely. And people should be concerned about it. Especially if it's limited for a 1,000 and you can only order it online. And then the powder underneath is chalk. Yeah. Pink chalk. Yeah, it wouldn't no. surprise me. But this, no, thank yeah, you. Yeah, but this whole sort of thing that they're doing, it's called Mac Underground. So yes. like like Hayley said, they're going to be releasing um, a limited run of certain things. It's sort of like they're testing the waters to see, mm. I don't know, how things, how go. things go, how things are received. Mm. And then I'm sure this is going to come back if people yeah. are interested. But I would have loved to have destroyed the crap out of this. Absolutely. That would have been awesome. Not available in Mac Australia. Not available anywhere Except other for, than the yeah. United States from what I understand. I do think, and look, we talked about this um, when we first heard about the Mac Underground. I think it's very interesting that they're manufacturing a thousand. Yeah. Like often to do small runs, it's more expensive than to do... How much Large was this? Runs. Do you reckon this was expensive? Do we oh, know yeah. the price? I reckon it would have been expensive. I don't actually have no idea what the price it was. Because it sold out. It sold out in like 10 minutes or something, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. So, sold out in less than an hour. Yeah. All right. So all I can see is that you can sign up for the next thing. Yes. Yes. Now, we did see um, they had an Instagram TV thing on the Mac Cosmetics Instagram and you can see it being swatched. And it's very much like uh, most other rainbow highlighters. So I shouldn't say most other. Rainbow highlighters, they're not new. Many of you will know about them, but often they do two things. You've either got a rainbow highlighter that is just a mix mixture of different colored metallic um, like Pigments. eyeshadows basically yeah that's essentially um, what it is yeah. and you like sweep it on in a rainbow mm -hmm. doesn't look good looks exactly like you'd sweep a bunch of different eyeshadows on with your finger then they have ones where you mix them together they're not designed to be worn with a sweep but when you mix them together they actually turn into like a silver shade yeah Ciate did one um, and there are other brands that have done them and it's that it's yeah. the silver, yeah. essentially. So all the colours sort of um, cancel each other yeah. out and it just makes like a silvery grey. sheen, which is what, <laughs> yeah, a grey, yeah. which is what this is. So I think it's 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 more visually cool. I think, Yeah, um, I agree. The good thing is as well, like if you are into colourful highlighters, you can target little parts and actually have yeah. different colours or again, you can sweep it together. And it's a very, if you're, especially if you like cool tone things, which I personally don't, but if you do good um it's wearable so yeah. it's it is a functional product it's good that it goes all the way through like again i wanted to buy this just so i can dig into it and mm. unfortunately it's not available to us but knowing mac they do bring back things um pretty regularly in like um like this could come out in the next christmas collection for all we know it could it um, could or like the next i don't know spring collection who knows i will okay i think if they bring this back there's going to be some pissed off people because they say only 1000 pieces yeah. each 
hand numbered for authenticity. Yeah. So let's say, all right, this is a limited edition item of a thousand pieces. And then in a year, they start bringing out a permanent version. A permanent version. Like, yeah. okay, fine. You've got, if you manage to get one of the original ones, you've got a hand numbered one. But what does that mean? And it's uh, also the yeah. like box. It probably is the box. It's probably not even the compact. Yeah. So and I, it shows in that video that she holds up the box and it's got a number on the box. Ooh, okay. So, well, you know, you look, I do agree with you. But at the same time, this is not a, something that brands haven't done before. Yeah. Brands yeah. have said there's limited releases and they bring and something they, back. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Mac is notorious for doing also, that. Also, I honestly, I can't see Mac manufacturing 1,000 of anything. I no. just, I really struggle to like eat that piece of bullshit pie because it's just yeah because I, I think the, the cost them. of formulating and prepping something look does it does explain the um packaging so we yeah. were saying the other week when we first saw this we actually thought it was an eyeshadow but it's a highlighter mm. um we were like what's with the frosted clear packaging like we've yeah. seen this in a past collection yeah it's just using old packaging so yeah. again this is probably just a prototype um i do it like look it wouldn't surprise me if Mac had this thing going on and they're like, this is this cool concept. You can be all this exclusive and be in the like the cool Mac crew with your mm. like very limited run item that's very collectible. Um, and then they bring it back in two years' time. That this wouldn't surprise was so me. popular. Yeah, that we had to bring it back. The 1,000 pieces sold out. Well, so duh, made one of course million have, of them. Of course you have 1,000 mega fans of Mac in yeah. America. Like, or Come even on. probably like 500 mega fans and 500 people that want to sell it at a markup on Absolutely. eBay. Absolutely. Guys, please don't buy this Yeah, at don't buy it. On don't eBay. buy it. It's not worth don't it. Don't let people not worth scam it. you. It will either come back or there'll be a shade variety. Yeah. Like a shade variation. Or they'll do like a whole fucking a, like collection, collection of, of them. collection of four of them and they'll have different colors. So, um, yeah, I yeah. think this is, this is a way for them. I think because they've, like, they've actually – possibly too big for their boots and they have released some things in the past that have just fallen flat and end up just being in like the bargain bin yeah um so i feel yeah. like what they're doing this is market research mm. they're, they're putting i get a out vibe for that too yeah, yeah they're putting out prototypes and they're like what's what do people think of this is this hitting the mark with the current market um and if it is they'll just mass produce this it or something similar market um, research that you pay for yes <laughs> Hey, but I would have paid for this to destroy it. I'm just putting it out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just to destroy we it. We would have got like 50,000 views on it. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't matter. It's about the experience, Hayley. It's true. It's true. <laughs> uh, we also have a new lip gloss range from them. Oh, are yeah. we talking about new stuff? Fuck well, it. We'll talk yeah. about it because... Just talk oh, it's about new it. anyway. Yeah. Because we're, that was the only update, yeah? That was the only update. All so right. we're going into new stuff, but we're starting with Mac. Yes. Because That's how we're we've doing got it. Mac. Yeah, so they've got uh, some new Power Glass Plumping Lip Glosses. Um, so it's a high shine lip gloss, instantly volumizes with maximum hydration, a long-term plumping power. Long-term. How, how long-term is long-term? Yeah, yeah. I'd be worried if this is like permanently plumps your lip because that would be like <gasps> It's that, like filler. It'd be like, yeah, that's <laughs> fucked. Um, I don't think it's long-term. I think it's temporary, no, but that's all right. I think all right. so. So it's a gloss that evenly coats the lips, fills in lip lines and provides sheer colour with lasting long, not long sticky, <laughs> non-sticky shine. Um, so there we go. So it's pretty much, yeah, lasting shine for hours. There we go. I like the fact that they said that it's non-sticky, which I don't really trust that from MAC. They notoriously have sticky they lip glosses. the worst. The, the stickiest. Yes. The gloopiest. Um, but I do like that it says it fills in lip lines because the one thing I can't handle is lip glosses that then um, – no, to be fair, do I like that or not? I'm thinking I don't like the, the lip glosses that settle into lines and yeah, really emphasize it. Yeah, there's a difference. It. But is filling in lip lines settling into lip lines? No, it's not. It's completely different. Well, hopefully not. It's uh, Personally, I think it's different because settling is disgusting yeah. and it should never happen. True. And filling looks great. 
makes the lips look plumper, healthier. Yeah, and smooth. So yeah. hopefully that's what it, this is a great thing. Uh, it's $21 each. This is US dollars. It's available now on the US website and comes in six shades. Um, so the shades are pretty basic. You have sort of like shimmery pinks with gold pearl, um, purple with multi. There we go. Cool. Bright Gotta neon orange. Multi. Yeah, bright uh, neon -y. Not neon, neon -y pink. Yeah, uh, love that. A cherry red, a bright milky pink. That one sounds like it's going to look like the Jeffree Star ones that just like settle in the lines and look funny. It's a no from me, Madonna. Yeah. yeah. The wand looks interesting though. Yeah, we've seen that wand from someone else before, but I can't remember which brand it was. Someone will know. Someone, someone would know. You'll there we go. Jump in the comments and there'll be 60,000 people going... Hayley, come on, man. It was blah. Get your shit together. Don't you know your wands? <laughs> um, all right. Let's talk about Bessemer. Mm -hmm. We've got an I Love Lucy collection coming up. Um, so it's going to be launching 25th of June. So by the time you guys are watching this video, we should have more information. But we, we might not more have more information in this video. Which no, because we'll by the time about... it's edited uh, and yeah. ready to go, we won't have seen it. So Correct. There we Correct. Go. Um, but essentially what we're seeing so far is an eight pan eyeshadow palette, um, a face powder, a lipstick and potentially a like face palette or another eyeshadow palette or the outside packaging of the eyeshadow palette. Yeah, I feel like I this is the outside know. packaging. It that's, that's the vibe is. I get from yeah. it. If anyone's going to do a sort of vintage property well, it's often... Bessemer. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, I love Lucy fans will love this. I just keep, I, I don't know if you watched um, Will and Grace the latest season, but no, they do an episode where um, they sort of do an I love Lucy sort of um, homage. homage. Yeah. And all I see is, is Grace Adler from <laughs> Will and Grace. It does as, look a bit like yeah, Grace. Yeah. As, as Lucy, because I yeah. don't actually see. <laughs> That's yeah. fair. So yeah, this isn't for me no. by any stretch of the imagination. Look, I'm, I'm not a young person, but I'm too young for this. I agree. I'm too young for this. I also don't like Bessemer's eyeshadow formula. Mm -hmm. uh, the lipstick is going to be red, and I don't need another red lipstick that I won't wear, although their lipstick formula is very nice. Mm -hmm. And whatever the face powder is, I just don't need it. Like, yep. I'm not. It's a collector's item. If it was like Beauty and the Beast, I'd be like, fuck yes, I'm buying it all. Yep. Um, even Don't though, want the formula, but I'm buying yeah, it anyway. Yeah, I'd be like, God damn, I hate their eyeshadow formula so much. Like, but I hate I'll it, hate it, hate so it, much. but I'll buy it because yeah. that's like, you know, my thing. And if you love I Love Lucy that way, then I totally get it. But. Yeah, yeah. All right, Bobby Brown, we have a new collection coming out. This is for summer 2020. So um, sort of available from July-ish. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the Milk Tea Collection. Now, this yeah. might sound familiar because we did talk about a Milk Tea Collection a couple months ago. It was from YSL. So it seems like this is the... An interesting look. It's interesting though because it's a vibe. It's a vibe that's, that's happening. But it's interesting because we saw so much food-related makeup come out um, that this is sort of an offshoot that I wasn't expecting. But mm. now it seems like a lot of brands are rolling with the milk tea thing. Well, to be fair, a high-end brand like YSL or Bobby Brown couldn't make a fucking pizza collection, could they? No, they milk couldn't. tea is the way to go if you're going to do it. Yeah. And it is catered to an Asian market. Yeah. Um, yeah. True. But also milk tea, the colouring, is a, it's a cool yeah. inspiration. Yeah. It's Similar flattering, to how it's like, pretty. Yeah, chocolate not or like, coffee or something would also yeah, sort of yeah. work with this. Yeah. So it's, it hits but, that sort of semi-luxury market yeah. and also the colour vibe yeah. isn't too out of their If it was zone. a chocolate or coffee collection, we'd all be screaming that it's old news and it's boring. But yeah. because it's milk tea, it's like, oh, okay. That's exotic. You, you, you refreshed the idea. <laughs> I see where you're going here. That's true. Yeah. So we've got uh, three eyeshadow palettes, milk tea naked, honey naked and cocoa naked. Then we have... Can I just say that I see, like, these look to me like broken down bits of, like, the naked palette. Yeah, it does. Urban Fair. Decay, na like, and there's and one the that looks like... And the top and the bottom one just look the same, for Christ's yeah. sake. Yeah, it's true. It's they're, but bit... they're very nude. Hey, if they're you like nude. Very, very nude. 
Then we have uh, 10 new shades of the crushed lip color. These look nice. I don't really dig their lipstick formula though. No, and also I question, there's things like rich cocoa and Italian rose and dark chocolate and buff, mm. um, blush, brownie, blue raspberry. Where mm. is the milk tea? I don't actually know. I think like I kind of get a vibe that maybe a lot of them uh, maybe not re-promotes. Like they might actually be new, but but then I don't think like I'm more inclined to believe that they were going for a chocolate inspired collection and at the last minute someone yeah. on the board was like guys chocolate is fucking bland and old for christ's sake how many brands have done chocolate collections yeah. let it go find something yeah. fresh yeah hey ysl are doing this thing yeah but that's what it sounds like it's like they've got a it collection that, that is that they've named it something that's trendy but completely unrelated to yeah. the items at least with the ysl one it seemed like the shades looked like milk tea. These are all cocoa and rose. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they they're are. Not, they're not milk tea coloured. No, they're not. Because milk tea, it's okay. like they've, they've got more, it's got more yellow tones to yeah, it. Yeah, and if orangey anything. tones. Yeah. Anyway, whatever floats your boat, Bobby Brown. Then we have um, the Cranberry Lip Palette. It includes soft shades of pink, brown, and red. It's a new limited edition item. Then there is a crushed lip color in Cranberry. This is a permanent product in limited edition packaging. And there is the Brightening Brick in Cranberry, which is also a permanent and limit, permanent item in limited edition packaging. All right, let's talk about Coloured Rain. I love talking about Coloured Rain. I love talking about Coloured Rain too. I could talk about Coloured Rain until the cows come home. So could I, to be fair. Especially if we're looking at an eyeshadow palette. Yes, that is true. So what we've got here is Juicy Boost. Now, we don't know what these are. No, but I'm interested. I'm interested too. Um. We're just going to take a stab in the dark and assume that something here in this photo is an eyeshadow palette. Potentially, they're both eyeshadow palettes. Yeah. Maybe one is also a face palette. I don't think both are going to be face palettes, but if you want to place that bet, honey, you do you. Yeah, I think the chances are, look, okay, they might be throwing us off by showing double ups of yeah, things. Yeah, I think they probably um, are. But I do think that there's at least one eyeshadow palette and then potentially, like you said, these could be really small. Like these could be a lot smaller than we think. And they these could. could be they individual could. blushes yeah. or they could be like a blush or a face quad. Yeah. Um, and it would make sense if it's like a face palette because like the smaller square ones is what I'm referring to um, because you can have like different color variations, yes. like yeah. light, medium, deep or Absolutely. whatever it happens to be. Yeah. Um, but I'm interested because I really, really, really like the Colored Rain eyeshadow formula. So whenever they bring anything out, I'm interested. Yeah, I'm um, listening. This Juicy Boost collection is for summer, so we will be seeing it soon. On the packaging, we're seeing some bright colours that don't really interest me and a lot of fruit yeah. inspiration that um, at least it's not uh, – what was that thing last week? Fruit fetish. Oh, fruit fetish. At least it's not that. Um, but same Yuck. same vibe but a little bit more tasteful. I much prefer the name Juicy Boost. Yep. That sounds fun. <laughs> Fruit fetish sounds like Creepy. someone's asking me if they can take photos of my feet. <laughs> <laughs> While holding Just fruit with my feet. Um, yeah, so I think this could be really cool. The only thing that uh, we've sort of seen that could give an mm. indication of colours in there. Speculating. Speculating here is the owner of Coloured Rain um, is showing um, – an eyeshadow look that she's been playing around with. And the colours are very summery and bright, which may reflect the colours on the packaging. So, you know, that could be a thing, but I'm looking forward to finding out more because I'm interested. Me too. I'm interested. All right, Junk Elephant. Mm. They've shown a sneak peek of an upcoming E-Rays Milky Micellar Water. So it's a ceramide-rich micellar water. So, of course, it's a micellar water. It removes makeup, um, dirt and pollution and bacteria. Uh, and it's formulated with a pH of 5. Mm-hmm. So there we go. Why do they spell milky like that? It, I don't know why. It just 
irritates me. Because it's it very have, cool. Does it have milk in it? It shouldn't it, it because lo- it's a fucking micellar water. But it looks white. It does look... Oh, I hate it. Yeah, so... It's going to be overpriced. Just yeah. buy a bottle of fucking Bioderma. There you That's go. That's all you need, hun. That's true. It's literally the bee's knees. It is. The, and they're the original. They made micellar water. Exactly. Like... The original and the best. From Elsie Cosmetics, we have a new palette that has been added to their minimalist line. It's called the Special Edition. It's a five pan, um, shimmery, colourful eyeshadow palette. Mm. Those pans are massive. They are massive. Look, we've got a swatch video. Look, the eyeshadows look like they're nice, basic yeah. shimmers they're not metallics they're not anything special they're just colorful shimmers um so it is a special edition release uh it's launched by the time you're watching this and it's the ultimate five shades to make any look pop they're creamy eyeshadows that glide on like butter for all day wear um the, the thing that confuses me about this i'm glad it's limited edition because i don't think it's actually needed in the world mm. um but for a line that is the minimalist line, and you can see in the background of this photo, there is like a mauve toned matte palette, a warmer toned matte palette. These are minimalist. These are things that you need to like yeah. the bare minimum you need to create a sort of basic look. Mm. And then they've added a five pan shimmery colorful palette to a minimalist line. It just doesn't seem like it makes sense to me. I don't, this is not my cup of tea. Not also, I would fight to the death for minimalists everywhere who are going, are you are you actually serious? You think a minimalist wants a palette that big with only five eyeshadows in it? With all that wasted space. Like a minimalist wants to get the most bang for their buck in the smallest possible item. Mm-hmm. Like a minimalist isn't like I want – one brown eyeshadow and that's all I'm going to wear. Or I want five giant brown eyeshadows. Mm. No. Like a minimalist wants one palette that does it all. Yeah. And if they like colour, then they want a palette that does colour. If they like nude, they want a palette that does nude and they want it all in one. Not five that. Five shades of shimmer. That, I hate it. And yeah. it's 49 US dollars. And I'm personally offended by That's this. It's really 10 US dollars a what shadow. What even is it? I, I don't know. It's not, not for me. Mm, they're shimmery eyeshadows like dead set. Shimmery eyeshadow, easiest formula you can do. You can get yep. it anywhere, cheap and effective. All right. Next collection is from e.l.f. They've got a retro paradise collection. Um... Yeah. <laughs> I know. I've seen I a lot know. of people say great things about yeah, this, though. Yeah, people are really people are keen. excited about this. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad collection. I think overall it looks like a pretty, like, it's a collection. Yeah. Um, I think the only thing that's retro about it is that they've used some font that sort of looks like um, some, like, disco 70s type yeah, yeah. font. Yeah, But beyond that, there is nothing retro really no. here. No. Uh, I guess some colours in the eyeshadow palette some of the I colors, have a bit of a retro vibe. Yeah, because of yeah. the muted colors. Yeah. It is, it's more reminiscent of like 60s and stuff. And they have stuff. a blue lip gloss. Yeah, that that was big in the retro like times. Baby blue. <laughs> like you know. <laughs> everyone you see all had the one. photos of people in the 60s and mate. 70s and the 50s wearing blue, blue lip gloss. Blue lip gloss, absolutely. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> it's blue eyeshadow. Yeah. <laughs> oh At least God. they've actually got blue eyeshadow in the palette. So the collection is limited edition, so if you want it go get it soon it's mm-hmm. available now at elf there's an 18 piece eyeshadow palette this is 14 us dollars again i don't mind the colors it's sort of a mix between nudes and okay i'll give it to them retro colors fair they are retro sort yeah. of inspired colors yeah. so i'll give them that there's a glow up body oil 12 us dollars in two shades sun kissed and golden hour um there's a multi-dimensional face and body shimmer this is 10 US dollars in Luna and Soul, so two shades. Uh, we've got Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow, 5 US dollars each. There's Flirty Birdie, Disco Queen, and 24K Gold. The Dream on Lip Gloss, 5 US dollars each, th- uh, four shades. Strawberry Daiquiri, A Moment, Electric Lemonade, and Tropical Fruit Punch. We also have a Primer Glow Oil, 10 US dollars. Line and Shine Lip Kit, 10 US dollars. Lifestyle Kit. 
16 US dollars, five piece brush set, 20 US dollars, glow up body brush, 10 US dollars, sponge trio, 10 US dollars, makeup case, 12 US dollars, and a sticker sheet, $1. So there you go. If you're What's interested up with in any the of these, sticker sheets? I don't know. These are, I've seen them in a couple of collections recently and I, I don't get it. Yeah, but at least with the ones that we've seen recently, they come with palettes. It's like when you buy a dinky diary in, yeah. in primary school. I kind of dig that. Yeah, and you're sticking it all over your diary and then it looks rank halfway through the year. Yeah, you're, starts peeling You're off. a grubby Looking feral. Shit. Yes. <laughs> well, not everyone's a grubby feral, Hayley. I don't know about uh, what your childhood would know. No, I was pretty most, gr- grubby. Most kids are. Yeah, I was pretty grubby, to be fair. Um, look, I don't mind stickers thrown in if it's a bit of a like fun way to decorate a palette, but I probably wouldn't pay for them. All right, this is really interesting. Oh, this is probably the thing that I'm this most is like confused probably about. Probably the all. most interesting thing out of this episode. It's from KVD Vegan Beauty. Kindness, vegan, vegan doing, doing good, good vegan, vegan beauty. beauty. That's it. They've Bang got on. a new product. It's a new product. It does not accidentally say Kat Von D on the packaging. It just says KVD, which is fantastic. It's called Shake Primer. It's a high impact eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to read the description um, that was like made by KVD Vegan Beauty. Finally, an invisible vegan eyeshadow primer for everyone. Formulated for all finishes, Shake Primer unlocks true color and extends wear in a first of its kind biphase liquid formula. While traditional cream eye primers muddy the color and aren't universal, Shake Primer is designed to give all eyeshadow colors, finishes, and formulas the true color payoff of wet brush application without glazing or ruining your shadows. This small but mighty bottle contains a concentrated elixir of only essential ingredients, so it's not weighed down by binders or fillers, and it's free of silicon, alcohol, and talc. One drop is all you need. Yeah, so that's a loaded it's a lot. statement. It's a lot, isn't it? So before we break that down, I'm just going to give you some release information. It's 22 US dollars. It's launching 29th of June online at kvdveganbeauty.com and Sephora and Sephora Canada, so US and Canada. And then it rolls out from June 30 through to September. Oh, and also 2021. Jesus. Wow. If you're in Spain or France or a few Italy. other places, Brazil, yeah. um, Poland, you have to wait until 2021 for this. So they are rolling it out over like six months, which is interesting. So, but starting That's from. Stupid. Yeah, but if you really wanted it, you can't. Most, order it off their website. You can order it off their website from uh, the 29th because uh, the website does ship internationally. But there you go. So. This is such a weird product and it's really hard right now to really pinpoint what it is. Mm. We don't have an ingredients list. We haven't seen a demo of it. What I personally think this is, is Kat Von D, sorry, KVD <laughs> Vegan Beauty's version of Inglot's Duraline. I think that's potentially possible. Because if it's biphase, it must have some oil in it. Mm. Um, if it's little but, you know, can foil eyeshadows essentially. It sounds like a really clear wet formula, which is mm. what Inglot Duraline's like. I just think this is their version of Inglot Duraline. I'm Possibly. curious. I'm curious to see how this and works. And then I'd be like, why the fuck you bother? Because Inglot Duraline in the States, okay, if you're in the States and you know the actual price, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's no shit like eight or ten dollars. Yeah. Here it's like 12 or 15. Yeah. yeah. No, I think it's, it's gone really, up. Yeah. Oh, it, it yeah. Was might cheaper, have gone up. I think it's gone up recently. But yeah. Like, if it is like Duraline, why you bother? And like Duraline, you use one drop. Mm-hmm. Or Duraline, you use one drop whenever you need to use it, pretty much. And I've had a bottle that's lasted me years, and I've, yeah. I think I paid like 12 bucks for it. So uh, I'm really curious to see what this is like. We're yeah. really tempted to order it online and um, give it a test and compare I it to other. I want to know what this is. Yeah, I want to know as well. I like curiosity has got me. All right, from Kylie Cosmetics, we have a collaboration collection with Kendall Jenna. Yeah, so she's done collaborations with all her other sisters and her mum, and this is the one that she was missing out on. And this, I think we said ages ago, 
when's the Kindle one coming yeah. out? And here it here is. Here it is. Yep. If you were excited for it, it's finally here. So there is an eyeshadow palette. It's an 18 pan eyeshadow palette that's like nude with pastels. Yeah, like oh, I would say these are more citrusy, kind of fruity. Oh, yeah. There's fruit fetish. Yeah, fruit fetish. Yeah. There's a, it's yeah. It's half nude. Well, two thirds nude, and um, then some colors. Then some colors thrown in. Uh, then we have a lip blush and lip liner in Sister Sister. There's a blot of blotifying. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a massive brain fart. There's a blotting powder, which is a mattifying face powder. But it's a cream to powder product, so it's like a right. silicon cake. Oh, so it's like... I think it's like the... Um, yeah, yeah. Ray the Morris Ray one. Morris, yeah. Interesting. Cool. Uh, then we have the Everything Everywhere Gloss. There are three face sticks that um, they're like cream face sticks. You've got a blush in Runway, a bronzer in Act Natural and um, a highlighter in Spotlight. And then there is also a high gloss. All right, so we have seen some new items thrown in here. So for example, the blush, bronzer, highlight stick are new items to the range. The Everything Everywhere gloss looks very much like that flesh one. Flesh oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used that. Yeah, the, you used it up. Uh, the eye and cheek gloss. I used yeah. it as a lip gloss. So it's it like a multi purpose nice. gloss in a bar, in yeah. a pot, sorry. Um, and then also, I think the, um, okay, the blotting powder, the mattifying cream powder is definitely mm. a new thing, which is pretty interesting. And then also the lip blush. Have we seen those from her before? So, I don't actually know. Yeah, so this is like the lip kit where you've got a liquid lipstick and a matching lip liner, but this is more of a blotted lip type mm. product. So it's a matte lip, but it's a little bit sheer. And it actually looks really pretty. The color looks really pretty. Um, so I don't, yeah, I don't know if that's, I think that's new to her range as well. So in this collection, we have seen quite a few new releases. But um, because these are new things, um, what they have also announced is that the bronzer sticks, so in the collection there's a bronzer blush highlighter stick, uh, one shade each. There is actually bronze, bronzer sticks coming June 30th in a bunch of different shades. We don't yet have a breakdown of how many shades, but if you were looking at that collection and going, okay, I don't really care about Kendall, but I wanted that bronzer stick, but it doesn't suit me in the shade, there are other ones coming soon. That also probably means there's going to be blush sticks and other highlighter shades coming soon as well. So, so yeah. uh, that's something that is to be determined. Um, but the Kendall and Kylie collection launches on the 26th of June. So if you want it, you can get it from then. Okay. Yeah. Melt Cosmetics. I suppose you... Oh, look, if you wanted to get technical you could consider this kind of an update because it's just like a revamp of something old yeah which is what they've been doing a lot mm. recently and i think they're going to continue doing this until they've completely phased their out their collection. stacks yeah yeah um so the she's in parties palette is coming soon um, they did have a She's in Parties stack. So mm -hmm. um, Melt Cosmetics were known for their eyeshadow stacks back in the day. And um, they still have them on their website. And they always go up for sale whenever they have like a new release or a big sale. Mm. Uh, they sell them pretty cheap. Um, but what they've done recently, um, the Rust stack was turned into a palette. The Neon one was turned into a palette. And now we've seen this sort of mauve colored stack turned into a palette. Um, so this stack used to be a four shade stack and it has been out of stock on their website for forever, like two years at yeah. least that I know of. Um, so if you were wondering why that was never coming back in stock, it's because it was ne it's never planning to. Yeah. Let's be fair. They're turning it into a palette. Um, but they've added four new shades to go along with um, the four existing shades. So, uh, yeah, that's it. It's coming soon. If you like these tones, it's a pretty looking, you know, palette. Yeah. Um, but nothing too amazing. And, um, yeah, I think a few people were questioning why they're doing this. And I just think it's – Palettes sell more than stacks. Stacks were their thing that sort of separated them yeah. like from the other things that were going on. But clearly they didn't sell, especially if you think 
if this has been out of stock for nearly two years that I know of and they have other stacks that are still in stock, how old are those stacks? Yeah. Like they've probably been in the warehouse for two plus years. and They're just inconvenient to use, to store. To find the shade you want. Yeah. Yeah. And also like four shades in a stack like they're like and this they're big as well for they're the really price. expensive i'm like how much fucking how much of my space do you want to take up yeah calm down yeah i think they must have seen the light when the gemini palette sold so many units and that got them picked up by sephora and yeah you know so they they really were put on the map because of this um the gemini palette which was their first palette palette really. standard palette yeah first I think so, palette yeah. like normal shaped palette and that just made their you know brand boom that they're mm. just now going okay that's the format that sells and it yeah, does it does to be fair it does. i think this is a really pretty palette i like the, the color story um and i remember wanting this, this stack. stack yeah um but i wouldn't buy it because now that i've tried them i know i don't like their formula that much yeah that's it's fair just, all right, we've got a collaboration with Morphe. So we saw mm. last week they had a collaboration with Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. And now we've got one with Maddie Ziegler, Ziegler yep. who is um, – she's a dancer. And she's like – she is, was on Dance Mums. Mm-hmm. And then she was in Sia's film clip. And she's a pretty much a social media – like she's got like 13 million followers on Instagram. She's massive. So uh, if you're a fan of her, she's collaborating with Morphe for some reason. Yeah. Don't lower yourself to their level, I Maddie. <laughs> Maddie, what are you doing? Don't do it, Maddie. <laughs> oh, she's we done it. I love you. Uh, and this is uh, launching on the 25th of June at Morphe, um, Morphe website, Morphe Stores and Selfridges, 28th at Ulta, uh, 30th at Mecca in Australia, and the 2nd of July at Pretty Little Things, Cult Beauty, Boots UK, Makeup Spot, NL, Cloud 10 Beauty, and Feel Unique. So it's all coming by the 2nd of July and we've got a couple of things in here so there's the um, imagination palette this is 25 US dollars there's a lip and cheek kit so it's available in three different shades 18 US dollars each and the dew bomb face gloss stick 12 US dollars hmm. um, I like the look of those glosses actually they're, like they're clear clear yeah. yeah makes me like them everything else I'd like to no. just buy that individually, though. I don't want those yeah, little don't cheek things cheek, that go with them. No, don't want it. Don't want it. I don't want the glosses bad enough that I would buy the cheek thing. Some crap in a bundle. No, don't yeah. want. Um, but this palette is sort of similar to. I'm going to say it's very similar to the Elf one we just saw. The yeah, retro one. yeah, yeah. It is. It's got yeah. a bunch of nudes, and then it's got some sort of pastelly and some muted colors mm. that give a little bit of a retro vibe. That sort of mint and that light blue. Um, there's, uh, is this going to be the colour story that we see for the next 6 to 12 months? Maybe, because the Kylie and Kendall one was also half Similar. nudes and half colour. Cool. I won't be buying eyeshadow palettes for a year, which there is we great, because I don't fucking need any more. <laughs> yeah, look, I don't, I don't mind the combination of half nude, half colour. I think it makes sense. I just think that it's, it's going to not hit the mark with a lot of people. Like, yeah. you're going to have to come out with a really, really bang on... Um, color story for people mm. to go oh yeah I, I need that because I think most people are inundated with so many nude palettes or color palettes mm. that this sort of That's, mix it's sort yeah. of like why do I need this and it's kind of like nudes with like mid-tone colors almost sort of muted pastel colors and then deeper darker color I'm yeah. just I, I don't know and also that pony like, palette what? they brought out um, a few months ago yeah. that had so many pastels in it that that got bad reviews yeah because their formula was absolute chunky like, shit a hairy ball sack yeah so i would not have much faith in that sort of um bright yeah, pastel that, row. and that's what i think as well mm. i'm like look i know what morphe does well it's not those it's shimmery shades. browns yeah they do shimmery, shimmery browns, browns. And they that's do why shimmery they had, browns well and, and that's, that's why they had so many shimmery brown palettes exactly exactly <laughs> It is what it is. Sorry, it is. Morphe. It, but those clear glosses look cool. They do look cool. Bring I, those back individually. I like the look of them. Yeah. I would probably go there, but I'm not buying them in a goddamn kit. All right, we have a collection here from NARS. It is called the Zen Collection, and they are saying that it's going to be a Japan-exclusive collection. 
So this will be launching from July 8th in Japan. I don't know if it's going to come elsewhere eventually, but we will see. So it consists of two eyeshadow quads, which are new, and three lipsticks, which are re-promotes in limited edition packaging. So the eyeshadow quads are Kyoto and Tokyo. Kyoto is the warmer one. It's kind of like um, nudie, yellowy tones. And then Tokyo is the more uh, pinky mauve shade quad. Then we have the three lipsticks. So you've got like, they're all kind of on the nude spectrum. You've got like a cool nude, a neutral, sort of a bit more warmer nude, and then like a ready nude. We've only seen two of the names. There's Rosecliff and Band Red. They do look nice. They do look, they look nice. very nice. Yeah, look, and they do have the limited edition sort of white packaging, yeah. whereas normally NARS have, has black, black. packaging. Yeah. Um, look, these quads look boring as fuck, but I do have to say that if these colour stories are your jam, yeah. it's a nice way to test their formula because I, I do agree, quite yeah. like NARS, NARS eyeshadow formula. Yeah. Um, I find that for just an everyday sort of eyeshadow, it works really well. If you want a really like foiled, bold, sort of pigmented eye look, it's not going to be your cup of tea. But if you look at this mauve quad and go, this is what I want to wear to work every day, go I would say give it, you give would a be crack. happy with yeah, it. Yeah, I think you would sure. enjoy it. All right. It's mm. actually a pretty big week. It's been a big week. It As has... I'm sort of scrolling through, I'm like, there's some big releases. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. The next one is Natasha Denona. I find whenever Natasha Denona released something big, including a big eyeshadow palette, it is a big week. Mm -hmm. um, so we've seen a bronze collection that's coming out for summer. So this collection was available for pre-sale, um, but it's officially launching June 23rd. So if you want it, you can get it. Um, and it contains and it consists of a new eyeshadow palette. This is the bronze eyeshadow palette, 65 US dollars. I think these the equivalent is 111 Australian dollars. Mm -hmm. um, so these are the um, eyeshadow palettes that have 15 shades, but the pans are the midi size pans. They're not yes. the large size pans. They're slightly smaller, which I prefer because you don't usually use them all anyway. And yeah. I prefer to pay less money than double the price for double like much more eyeshadow that I don't need to use yeah um but this is look oh I've got feels about this one we'll go mm. we'll talk about it in a second then there's the bronze cheek face glow palette 55 US dollars this is a quad um and they mainly have like highlighter shades yeah uh, and then we also have the lip euphoria glosses in three new shades these are 26 dollars each you have chestnut caramel and tan nude mm. um look overall i think i like look we've seen brands do this nas has done it uh, a bunch of other brands have done these sort of like bronzy collections for summer and i kind of like it i'm yeah sort of, i'm I'm digging it. Um, I don't know if this is hitting the mark enough for me to be like, you have my money, mm. but I've looked at this multiple times. So that is, they're doing something, they're doing something yeah. right. Um, what do you think of the, the palette? I kind of like it. I hate that there's a black in there. Like I, bleh, I don't know. I'm not going to buy it. I don't like Natasha Denona's formula enough to spend money on those bloody eyeshadows. It's too yeah. expensive. I've got a thousand nude eyeshadow palettes. Most of them I'm happy with. Like, I like it, but I do not like it enough. It'd be like if Pat McGrath bought out an all nude palette, like yeah. proper nude bronzy palette, wouldn't buy it. Yeah, see, I'm I'm sort of there with you with the with the eyeshadow palette. I look at it and there's parts of me that are like, oh, I really do want it. Yeah. Um, but then there's parts of me that are like, well, how much do I use my other um, Natasha Denona palettes? Yeah. Do I need this? And look, if this, I, I want to swatch this in store. As soon as mm. this comes in store in Australia and there's a sale, because this sounds like it's not going to be limited edition. No, I think it's um, going to be a permanent. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a permanent release. So I can wait for mm. a 20% off sale. But there are some colors in there like the mustard and even that sort of, I, I don't like blue colors, but that, 
one with sort the blue like, shift. It's almost like gunmetal grey. Yeah, with blue it looks shift. really cool. My concern is the more I see this applied on the eye, the more, more it reminds me of the Huda nude palettes. Yeah, yeah. Um, that yeah. instead of them actually being nude, they lean very orange pink. and pink. Yeah. Um, and I feel like that's what this one's going to do. So even though I do really like the look of it in the pan, mm. I need to swatch this to determine if I want to spend my money on it. Yeah. When it comes to the face palette, I was expecting bronzers as well in there. Yeah, well, I just look at the lightest arm and go, there's literally one shade in there that I could wear. The rest will be too dark on me, so I don't, I can't. But it's so strange bringing out a bronze palette, a bronze face palette. Having, and they're all highlighters. They're, 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 yeah, there's, yeah, exactly right. There's, okay, they, there's probably a blush in there. Mm-hmm. But the bronzer that they have, the Super Glow Bronze, is like a copper highlighter. Yeah, then they've got the Super Glow Nude, which is like a champagne highlighter. They've got the Bounce Cream Blush, which is a pinky sort of peachy shade with yeah. a silver shift. When you it's see it on pretty. the deepest arm, it looks, it looks like, like a highlighter. It looks like it's swapped with yeah. the – yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then the Bounce Cream Glow, uh, which is a cream highlighter, mm. it's like a whitish highlighter with a pink shift. Yeah. So on the lighter skin, it looks quite frosty, mm. and then on the deeper skin, it looks – pink which yeah. is yeah weird so i would have loved for that to be more of a balanced um face palette that actually has a bronzer in it on face value i like the look of this collection but i like when i look deeper at it i have zero interest also like i've tried one of her lip Euphoria lip glosses i tried to wear it again today i had to take it off it's so rank Oh, really? Looks like someone jizzed on your fucking lips and you're trying to like use it as a lip balm, just like <laughs> <laughs> jizz lips. There you fucking go. Fucking rank. There you go. So, so yeah, I wouldn't like I I'm so interested, every but time I'm also I, see, so I reckon I'm gonna be yeah, so disappointed. I see that eyeshadow palette and I'm like if she's ever done a colour story that was right for me, it's probably this one. But then I just think about all those times when, like, I own Natasha Denona stuff. I purchased my own Natasha Denona stuff thinking it was going to be, like... It in a bit. And it was massive flop. Yeah. In fact, the Natasha Denona stuff that I liked the most was gifted to us. Yeah. It was chosen by another person. So yeah. I just don't... I'm, I'm not going to buy this because I know that I'll use it a handful of times mm. and then I'll be on to the next thing and it probably won't actually be what I want it to be. Yeah, see, I've got the gold palette and I, I've got a, quite a few palettes. Yeah, I've got, but I've got the gold palette and I've also, got the Metropolis palette. Also, there's not enough mattes in it. Yeah. Look, yeah, I've got the gold and I've got the Metropolis palette and I really do like the colour stories of those. The gold is... <laughs> Very gold, probably too gold. Um, but when I, one thing I like about the Metropolis palette, which I think they've carried over to this palette, is some of the mattes in there are that creamed powder formula, yeah. which are actually really beautiful and they apply really nicely. Yeah. Um, so I'm keen, I'm keen, I'm keen, I'm keen. I'm just really concerned that for a bronze palette, which I love bronze mm. eyeshadows, it's sort of my jam, these look very orangey red pink yeah. and I don't need that in my life so I think this is one I want to swatch but it does if it swatches beautifully and I see it in store and I'm like this is gorgeous I'm going to use it mm. I want to buy it but what I want from this I think I get in spades from that Too Faced Born This yes. Way eyeshadow palette yes so I'm I like, agree. why don't I just keep going back to that yeah like let's be real just do your makeup with that and be happy with your life yeah all right, let's talk about Patrick Tarr Beauty. We have a new collection. This is called Major Beauty Headlines. It consists of matte suede lipsticks. These are $32 each, comes in four shades. There's Oh, She's Single, She Must Be New. She's not from around here and that's why she's late. Then we have the Cream Plus Powder Blush Duos. These are $34 US each. Comes in four shades. We've got She's That Girl, Oh She's Different, She's So LA, and Do We Know Her? And then we have the Precision Lip Crayons, 26 US dollars each. Again, four shades, and they are in the same shades as the lipstick. So, Oh She's Single, She Must Be New, She's Not From Here, and That's Why She's Late. These are all out now at Patrick Tar Beauty and Sephora. 
I quite like this collection. Mm. Um, look, okay, we all know that I'm not a big uh, cream blush person, but I think the colours are nice. The colour duos are nice. Mm. Um, the only thing that sort of gets me about this is it doesn't seem like there's a separator, like a flap over the cream. Yeah. Because um, one thing we always complain about is if a cream and a powder are in the same compact, you get powder in your cream and it yeah. mixes together and it goes gross. But I do like that they've sort of paired the same shade in two different yeah, formulas. Yeah, the monochromatic thing. I like that. I think that's a great idea. I think the shades they've chosen are really nice. Um, it pretty much suits a lot of different skin tones and a lot of different undertones just with the four shades chosen. Um, when it comes to the lipstick shades, I also think the shades go across multiple skin tones mm. um, and suit a lot of people. Essentially, you've got two nudes and two reds, um, sort of like a lighter, sort of true nude, a more wine-coloured nude, so deeper skin, it'll look like a nude. Um, and then you have two reds, an orange-toned and more of a true red. I love the look of the crayons. So do I, actually. That's the, that's the thing that stands out in my mind yeah. as being something I want to try from They look this. like they might be kind of like a, a long triangle shape or a yeah. teardrop shape. They do look really nice. Packaging looks really nice. Um, I like I like the packaging across the board. I get um, Tom Ford vibes. I see what you're doing there, Patrick Tarr. Um, I wouldn't touch the... The blushes with a 40 foot pole i don't do cream and powder in the same compact unless there's like protection yeah no glove use no love. protection use yeah. protection guys exactly um but yeah those liners yeah there's something about them I oh yeah them. i do like them i do like them very much and i like that they are a lip crayon so if you want to use them as a liner for the lipstick you can, you can. if yeah. you want to use them on their own you can yeah i also like that in this photo you can see them all sort of laid out that they have four different color stories like yeah. a peachy one a nudie Nude. brown um a pinky color and then more of a wine sort mm. of color so uh if you don't know how to or you, you like a monochromatic look for example you've got the blush the lipstick and the lip crayon that all sort of work well together i think that's yeah. a really smart move i also agree that i like the packaging um if it had a little flap over the cream it would be even better but yeah that that stick that crayon thing I'm yeah like, i know i like it too I, I think also i think where my um sort of interest lies is i've tried a lot of these sort of mini lipsticks mm. i'm even thinking of the of course hourglass confession yeah, yeah, lipsticks yeah they always seem to be better than bullet lipsticks aren't they they just are they're just better they're the, superior the, the thinner ones that you don't get much product but yeah. you're like oh this is such a luxurious buy they're always better they just wear I'm better just pulling my microphone oh, I'm just getting dramatic because spaghetti oh, oh spaghetti because yeah they're just they're just better so yeah. something about this i'm like i would buy yeah i would buy. i would, I would Pick up one of those liners for sure. Yeah. Definitely. If Give it, it a go. If we had access to them, which yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't. We no. don't. Okay. We have a little collection here that's coming soon from Solar Look. This is the Brenda Dillon Kelly collection. So it's going to be up for pre-order when you're watching this. So it consists of a palette, which is nine pans. There are three mattes. Three metallics and three duochromes. Is that correct? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I think that's correct. Then there's a liquid lipstick. Sorry, three liquid lipsticks. They're fourteen dollars each, or three for thirty-five. And then you can get the whole collection for fifty-nine dollars, twelve dollars saving. It's pretty good. Yeah, they got free U.S. shipping as well. And a dollar from every order will be donated equally to both the American Stroke Association and Black Lives Matter. And the collection will also be coming to Glam Raider in Australia, which is fantastic for our Aussie people. Yeah, it makes it so much easier to access. Yeah. Um, so this is the second 90210 collection that yes. they've created. Yes. Um, I do think their first one, I think it was quite popular, so it yeah. makes sense doing a second one. I think we saw a recent collection from them. What was the collection? Because that one fell flat. The Charmed. Oh, yes, the Charmed, Charmed one. one. That yes. one fell flat. Yeah. I think this is a lot better. I love this colour store. Yeah, I think this colour store is really beautiful. It yeah. gives me um, the Huda... Oh, uh, are you thinking of Desert Dusk? Yes. Yeah. Gives yeah. me Desert Dusk vibes with the purples, the but, oranges and the sort yeah, of ready pinks. But I feel like more like 
move, bitch, get out the way. Like it's like a cut down edited version. Yeah, it's but like, let's not fuck around here. Let me give you the good shit. Yeah. You've got the punchy colours. Let's yeah. just get straight to the yeah. point. Yeah. If this formula is nice, I think they've done a good job. Again, yeah. I think what I like about this, it's edited, so it's cut down. It's yeah. a nice colour story. It's sort of wearable and flattering, mm. but also a little bit fun. And you've got different finishes. Yeah. I love palettes with different finishes. Three mattes, three shimmers, three special. Yeah. I'm all for. Um, but I also like that if you go down in columns, you have colour stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you can complete a look yeah. almost. Like I would probably Purple, need like red, a, a pink or yeah. like berry. Yeah, yeah. I might need like a lighter matte or something to finish a look, but you can pretty much do a majority of a look with those with what three. You've got. Yeah, yeah, I think that's really cool. I so think I that's like good. This. I feel like it. Like nothing's been thrown in there to like pat feel, it out yeah, or make it, it bigger. Like palettes are allowed to be small and edited. Yeah, I agree. Because if you love this sort of color story, you look at this and you go, "I love it. It's perfect." There's no fucking weird shit yeah, in no there that's around. like you didn't fuck around. You just got to the point and I like it. So yeah. there you go. I like the lip colors. I'm, I'm yeah, they're not, not crash they're not hot on me, but Dylan loves Kelly. That really vibrant yeah, pink. If that's a really pink, good yeah. formula matte, that is, they're hard to come by. They so are. I think that's cool. Um, but you know. I think the palette's really pretty. So. Oh my God. Such a confusing love triangle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a collection here from Tony Moly. This is a Minions collection. I just want to oh. express really quickly. Yeah. I know that a lot of people are obsessed with Minions. I didn't know until we went to Japan and we went to Universal Studios and Minions were everywhere and people were dressing up as Minions. They had like a Minions My performance God. Yeah, and people were going lot. nuts. I was just like, I didn't know Minions was such a big thing. Neither they drive me I. bananas. There's yeah. something about them. Too old for that yeah. for me personally. I don't get it. I've never missed saw the, the movies. Never like actively avoided it. Yeah. Because I don't know why, but it triggered and made me angry. <laughs> I'm irrationally angry about them as well. Yeah. Is that a thing? Oh my I god. I don't know if it's because we went to Japan together and we saw like minions. See, were I down hated after... them before yeah, I did that. As well. I was a bit like. I think that pushed me over the edge, though, it too did. irrationally angry. Yeah, to make me to the point where I'm like, can we buy this collection and set it on fire because yeah. it would be funny. Whereas prior to that, I was like, I'm avoiding, and now I'm like, yeah. I'm act actively I, hating. I actively, yeah, dislike yeah. But it. But I know that yeah, there is a huge Minions audience. Interesting. I think it might be an age thing. Might Honestly, be. And also like a get the fuck out of my face thing. But do, is that age group, do they need sheet masks and hand masks and, and well, hand moisturisers and stuff? Is, yeah, I, I actually don't know. Mm. I don't know. What age group do you have to be in to love minions? I don't know because I, I avoided it. Yeah. Um, but essentially what we have here, I'm not going to go through the prices because – there's a long list. And they're going to vary from and they, country yeah, to country. Yeah, they vary right? from country to country. So we've got a strawberry banana lip balm, a lip gloss in two shades. There's a sheer pink and a sheer shimmery shade. There is a peach sugar body scrub, which actually sounds delicious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are three sheet masks. You've got moisturizing hyaluronic acid, brightening vitamin C and calming lavender. Then there's the Eucalyptus Calming Night Mask, the Glowing Hair Mask, a Nourishing Hand Mask, a Hydrating Banana Foot Mask. You've got Vital, Vital C Hydrogel Eye Patches. There are Blemish Patches, Lip and Eye Makeup Remover, Aromatherapy Calming Stick, Strawberry Banana Hand Milk. I want that. That sounds delicious. Strawberry, sorry, soothing aloe cleansing wipes, banana foam cleanser, and a soothing aloe gel. You know what? Maybe they need the like, they've got a calming lavender face mask, aromatherapy calming stick. They need that for the irrationally angry yeah. people to calm us down. I wonder if minions make everyone angry. Is this a thing? Why do they? Yeah, have... let us know if you're if you're irrationally enraged yeah. by minions and or if also, you love them. Because it, look, if you love them, go yeah, go no for your judgment, life. Go obviously. for your life. Go for obviously. your life. But for some reason, they make me angry. What is the reference? Because they've got okay, they've got the sheet mask in calming lavender, eucalyptus calming night mask, um, and aromatherapy aroma, bleh, aromatherapy calming stick. That's three calming products. 
in a collection. I is, reckon what's the reference to minions yeah, with the calm thing? Calm your farm, they're saying. Yes. Don't get so angry at minions. <laughs> Hayley, it's all right. It's Breathe. okay. I reckon they're just taking some popular things and just shoving, shoving minions. Shoving the minions yeah. on them. Because they've got the banana hand cream in yes, the, in the yeah. tube. I've got it. Next to my yeah, nursing Yeah, but they've chair. changed it. But they've changed it. Because it's strawberry yeah, banana. Yeah, strawberry banana. Yeah. And they and made I, a lip balm out of it yeah, as well. Yeah, and I really like that hand cream. So I really yeah. want this and the lip balm. And the the uh, lip balm one has a little key ring attached. It does. Very cute. Yeah. Very, very but, uh, cute. Yeah, I really like If it's strawberry banana, I want it. So, look, that doesn't have minions on it. So I'm happy no. with that. I'll take that. Give it to me. Interesting. Um, but, yeah, if you're a fan or you like Tony, Tony Molly or you like cute things and this is up your alley or you like banana strawberry things, um, you that is it. it. For oh, today. that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. We're gonna have pizza. We have pizza. Late lunch. Pizza. Pizza. My, pizza. my mummy bought pizza. Over. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited for pizza. Time has come to dedicate this episode to a beauty news VIP, and this week's VIP is Molly Moon. Molly Moon. Five one zero. Five one zero. Thank you. Can't forget the five one zero. Don't you forget that five one zero. Thank you so much, Molly, for supporting Beauty News. And thank you to everyone who supports Beauty News in whichever way you choose to do it. Kat, what is our emoji? Bananas. Bananas. Because I want that hand cream. Na, 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 Make those bodies sing. <laughs> All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.